Hi folks, I'm Sergio Diaz. Today, we're fishing the North Shore of Long Island. I usually don't fish this area, but I got a call from a friend that there's a lot of action. So, uh, we're probably gonna be catching a lot of schoolies. Not so much big fish. Schoolies are small striped bass that are a lot of fun to catch. So what we're gonna do today is, it's a nice sandbar here. We have incoming water. And we're gonna cast up current. We're gonna let our fly drift, keeping the line taut. And as soon as it goes over the sandbar, we're gonna start stripping and bring it in. And what that should do is, it should trigger a strike from the bass that are sitting behind the sandbar, waiting to ambush some type of prey. So we're gonna give it a shot and see if we can find a couple stripers and then call it a morning. For this kind of fishing, I'm using my fly rod with intermediate line. That will allow my fly to get close to the bottom, but also allow me to work topwater flies if needed. Now when retrieving my fly, I like to use the two-handed method, but my retrieves are short and relatively slow to keep the fly moving for as long as I can and close to the bottom. Remember to always keep tension on the line, because this will allow you to feel the strike and set the hook on the take. Pretty cool. Let's see what we got nice. Alright. This is where we catch. We catch another school size bass, which are pretty cool. Alright, okay, it looks like we got a little bass here. So we can land her real quick. Okay. It's a little striped bass. That's a small little guy. Quickly landed it with a nice little clouser. And we're gonna let it go, okay? This is great. I was fishing that other spot before, which has a nice little rip current, but I gotta try this spot here. The fish are busting on top of the water, so let's give it a shot and see if we can catch something. By the time I got under water, the fish were already down. I was suspecting more schoolies, but these fish were hickory shad, and the same flies that attract stripers also work in shad, and shad fishing can be a lot of fun on the fly or live tackle, and sometimes they can get pretty big.
Wow, it's just a tiny striper. The smallest striper I've ever seen. Look at this little tiny guy. These are sand eels. You'll find them from spring to fall, and everything will eat them. But most importantly, the striped bass love them. If you find them, fish it well. Chances are this bass around. This is a pretty good morning. They're catching all this little schoolies in here. Here we somehow. Having a pretty good morning so far, lots of action, but the tide's starting to change and that'll affect um, the fishing. So, just cleaning my clouds right here. All right, let's give it a shot.
Is that a good sign? Feels like a little guy again. Oh no, folks, we gotta end our video now. This is a sea robin. We gotta go. We gotta go release this guy. Talk to you soon.